Hi everyone, my name is Gage Krolczyk, and I'm on my way to becoming a musician in the United States Marine Corps. On this channel, I've exclusively posted recordings of some projects I've been working on over the last couple years, but I really wanted to start this series about my career heading into the military. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of information or resources available on what being a musician in the military entails. In fact, some people don't even know that you can go into a service branch and be a musician as your full-time job. I think this is a topic that's actually starting to gain a little bit more popularity. In the last year, the Army has released a couple new promotional videos specific for their groups. Abby Weaver has a ton of information specific to her job in preparation for the Army Band. And of course, EMC Productions has a handful of videos chronicling his experience in the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps. So my intentions with this video series is to track my own personal experience and provide another perspective on the process of enlistment, boot camp, day in the life type of activities, but I also want to meet with these other musicians, librarians, sound engineers across all the branches to give a more holistic view of what musical careers the military has to offer. In this episode, I'm going to broadly cover my process of enlistment and my preparation for boot camp. So for context, I'm currently 26 years old and I did my bachelor degrees in music education and performance immediately after high school. Then I went straight into my master's degree in music performance and I followed this with a one-year performance certificate program. I won and accepted a position in the Commandant's own United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps in December of 2022, which was at the end of my first semester of the performance certificate. Now because I was in the middle of an academic year and wanted to finish my program, I asked if I could have a later start date and I was informed that this wasn't a problem and that I could participate in the delayed entry program. The delayed entry program allows you an opportunity to postpone your training up to 365 days to help get your affairs in order, and this includes academic studies. So in February of this year, I signed my MOS contract, took the oath of enlistment, and tomorrow I ship out for basic training at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island. Also, I need to give a huge shout out to the Marines at recruiting substation Burlington in Marlton, New Jersey. They were super helpful in getting me the information and paperwork that I needed to move through the process and get ready for training. If you're in New Jersey and you're thinking about enlisting or you just want to get more information about being a Marine, I highly recommend you talk to these guys. I'll leave their contact information and Instagram handle below in the description of this video. So after I won the job, my immediate goals became knocking out all the paperwork and MEPS visits that are required to formally enlist, and my long-term goals became focused on getting in good physical shape for boot camp. Luckily for me, I had a lot of help from one of my best friends, Eric Carr, or more popularly known as the aforementioned EMC Productions. Formerly involved with this exact ensemble I'll be working in, Eric was super helpful in providing me with a lot of insights about the job, boot camp, and other great strategies to prepare. He's talked about a few of these topics in his older videos, so quick plug, if you don't know about EMC Productions, check out the link to his channel below in the description. He has a ton of great information, as well as ridiculously insane drumming videos. So head over, check him out, subscribe, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. From a young age, I was always pretty heavily involved with musical activities. I only played a handful of sports in middle school and high school, and I spent a lot of time with marching band, indoor drum line, and drum corps. So I've always been in pretty decent shape from the cardio and carrying drums that the marching activities lend itself to, but weight training was just not something that I ever really made time for. Going to the gym in college was something that I tried to do here and there, but it was just always on the back burner for me. But with boot camp in the distance, now became the perfect time to really go all in. So for the last four months, I've spent about three to four days a week in the gym on a push, pull, legs and core rotation. I've built up my cardio by gradually increasing my running distance up to four miles per session. And I spent a lot of time doing body weight exercises at home for core strength and conditioning. With all the exercise, I also made getting my diet in check a priority, making sure that I was eating healthier at a calorie surplus and getting a good bit of protein in order to bulk up a bit. From the beginning of the year until now, I've actually gained about 10 pounds and seen a lot of progress in my strength training, my running speed, and my endurance. So my goals here were to prepare for the PFT and the CFT that I'll have to take at boot camp and every year of my military career. I took my IST this past week, which comprised of a max set of pull-ups, a timed plank, and a timed mile and a half run. So of those three events, I completed 20 pull-ups out of a maximum 23 for my age group, a two minute, three second plank out of a max three minutes and 45 seconds, and a 10.33 mile and a half, which was not to exceed 13.30. Overall, I feel pretty well prepared to begin boot camp, and I think with all the physical training coming, I'm optimistic that my scores will improve closer to potential maximums. 
Mentally, I also feel pretty well prepared for boot camp. As musicians, we're trained to spend a lot of time on our preparation and be able to execute our task accurately and consistently, and I feel like that discipline is really going to help me out here as well. I'm confident that my recruiters have prepared me well for the environment I'm heading into, and at the end of the day, whatever happens, I know it's not personal and that everything is happening for a reason and I need to trust the process. So lastly, I wanna give a huge thank you to my family, friends, and teachers that have been super helpful and encouraging throughout this entire enlistment process. And a big shout out to my mom and dad. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if there's a topic that you'd like to hear more about or something that I already touched on that you think I should dive deeper into, drop it in the comment below. And if you're feeling generous, subscribe and check out my other content. I'll be gone for the next 13 weeks to earn the title of United States Marine. And I look forward to sharing more about that experience when I get back. Until then, be healthy, be safe, and thanks so much for watching.